My respect to you. About that Moldavite we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? No, nothing for now. Give me more time. Of course. Just remember that I have to mount the stone on the crown, and that's no small matter. God be with you. Yeah. What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? Ah! Ah!
What the hell was that? there hey who's there what's that
Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of Saint Benedict. No others shall pass. Farewell. But I need more I hope for they them. Soon. We can supply you with a few more blankets, but not many. Look at them. Look at the state they're in. I know. I know the wounded need caring for. One of them dragged himself in here with broken ribs, and now he's going to die from pneumonia and starvation. Look, we're doing the best we can, and this kind of attitude isn't helping. I bid you good day. Your hunker? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep, but I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? 
Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of, but others... Others are dying here, needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith, but I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. Well, that's true. He comes to visit Johanka, but he's never here long, and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the Infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him, but it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka, and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalitz locals in such a state. I know. I'm ashamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. I'd like to learn something from you. Hmm. And what can you do? A bit of everything. Can you now? But to be more precise, 
Do you understand herbs and medicinal plants? To be honest, not really. So what am I supposed to do with you? Well, never mind. At least you'll learn something new. Go to the herb garden, take a good look at what's growing there, and then pull up the weeds in the herbaceous beds. Is that clear? Clear. I can get cracking. Not so fast. Have I even told you what I consider a weed? It's dandelions, stinging nettles and thistles. Those plants have their use, but they've no business growing among the Euphrasia and the Mentha, or anywhere else in that garden for that matter. Where is it they're not supposed to grow? Between the mint and the eyebrights. Once you've cleared the garden of weeds, come back. And woe betide you if you pull up anything but weeds. Don't worry, you've never had as good a gardener. How do I know which are the weeds? You see, this is the part where you learn something. Look in the herbarium to find out what a dandelion, stinging nettle and thistle look like. How can I tell them apart? You see, this is the part where you learn something. Look in the herbarium to find out what a dandelion, stinging nettle and thistle look like. I see. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly. Farewell. Everything here is fine. Philip, from Scalitz. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask your hunker. He just needs to sleep. These wounds have been well taken care of. He just needs to sleep. Where? What's happening? You look alright? Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I'll get some. God be with you. Hmm? What? What do you want? I have the bandages. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. Yeah, a long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. Good luck. Yeah? Damn, why are you waking me? You're not from Scalitz? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. 
What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Take care now. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? I'll give it a go. It's not like I can make it any worse. So you don't know anything? Don't even think about touching that poor man. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. I have to go and take care of the others. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbours are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction worker's bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scallets, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. If he got poisoned... But what can we do? Us? Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scallets years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. May the Lord watch over you. And who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scallets locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? 
since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally I keep watch at night in case someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold the patient down or fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. God be with you. Do you know anything about herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. It's done. Did you weed the beds and leave what should be growing there alone? I may have picked a couple of the other plants by mistake. If it's only a couple, there's no harm done. I'm going to check with my own eyes. Take care now.
Were you satisfied with my weeding? You said it was finished, but I took a look at it. Is that what you call a finished job? Try again and do better. That simply isn't good enough.